Like the classic song by John Denver, country roads take us home to the place we belong. But some roads are easier to take than others, so the hub is mapping tough terrain, revealing secrets not even visible on Google. If two roads diverge in a wood, be careful taking the one less traveled. It might be one of these roads you wouldn't want to drive on. And before we go, click on the red subscribe button. It's your quickest route off the beaten path to the hub's adventurous content. Zojila, India Nestled in the Himalayas, Zojila is one of the highest elevated roads in the world. This Indian passageway is five and a half miles long, about 11,500 feet above sea level, and offers one of the most scenic views into Kashmir. Although its dry, arid climate doesn't get much precipitation, the high elevation invites some treacherous and unpredictable winter storms, leading the road to close during most winter months. Even after rainstorms, the unpaved road can be impassable due to the muddy surface, sticky enough to trap the most well-equipped four-wheel drive vehicles. This makes it harder for the residents of Ladakh, who use Zojila as the only way in and out of their town. If you live there, you'd probably be used to the winding, single-lane dirt path they call their main thoroughfare, but to outsiders, this road is a lot to get used to. This doesn't even account for the heavy and unpredictable winds conducted by the cone-shaped valley below. They can gust upon any unsuspecting driver and blow them off course if they're not driving fast enough. As the second highest mountain road in the world, it's a breathtaking sight. But if you're not careful, one wrong turn can literally take your breath away. Pan American Highway, North and South America. The Pan American Highway hits every climate you can imagine and then some. Extending around 30,000 miles from Alaska to Argentina, the highway is known as the world's longest motorable road. Each country along the path offers vastly different terrain. If you're brave enough to handle the full experience in one trip, you'd better take a vehicle that's equipped to burst through snow, tread on muddy jungle passages, and roll over the equator. Outside of the Darien Gap in South America, in which drivers are required to cross by ferry, the road is one seemingly infinite stretch of pavement. It's the type of drive you could lose yourself in if you're not careful. One minute you could have miles and miles of open arid plains ahead, only to stop short on the brakes for an unexpected livestock crossing. With extreme blizzard conditions cutting off the route during winter months, extreme wet conditions cutting off sections of South America jungle during the wet season, and the potential for you to run into a nasty cartel, the Pan American Highway is the place where anything is possible. If you need a good excuse to brush up on all your regional dialects, you'll have time to study during the year and a half long journey. Kardung Law, India this mountain pass is even higher than Zojila and more strategically important to India's government. Situated near India's border to both Pakistan and China, this dirt and gravel road is often trekked by the Indian military for exercises, supply transportation, and travel to and from their outposts on the Siachen Glacier. For most people, acute altitude sickness settles in at 7,800 feet. Just imagine how much worse the ailments feel once you drive along this road's maximum height of 17,582 feet. In the event you're able to pass the strict military checkpoints to enter the the roadway, bring some medication as there are no medical facilities throughout the entire passage. Still, Kardung can be subjected to heavy traffic due to the portions of single lane road, and you don't want to be stuck in a jam when a landslide of mud and rocks can easily rain down on you from above, not to mention the probability of an avalanche in the wintertime. And yet, some cyclists are daring enough to make the journey on bikes alone. If they can surpass the unpaved gravel and patches of snow to reach the top of one of the highest roads in the world, more power to them! Tianmen Mountain Road, China Etched into China's Tianmen Mountains, this road's turns are so sharp any speedy automobile would probably fly right off the sides. Pedestrians and tourists can explore the area on walking paths with glass floors. The views are much safer when seen on foot, instead of a bouncy car barreling down this snaky highway. The area also boasts the longest high-altitude cable car in the world, taking visitors from the bottom to the summit, where they can view the original mountaintop temple from the Tang Dynasty. With all this in mind, it seems like the stress of visiting by car would just dampen the trip. Within its 6.2 miles, there are a total of 99 hairpin turns throughout Heaven Linking Avenue's nearly 4,000-foot high altitude. The nickname, Heaven Linking Avenue, comes from the fact that Tianmen Road connects two key points of interest, the ancient temple we previously mentioned and Tianmen Cave, a 400 30-foot deep pit cutting into the mountain. The 99 turns and the 999 steep stairs leading to the mountain's peak also have a godly connection as they symbolize heaven's nine palaces. Also, like heaven, this road is exclusive, only open during special events and to those with clearance from the government. Road to Hana, Hawaii 
The road to Hanna is an avenue along a tropical paradise. It's one of the most beautiful roads in the world, but there's a reason. Stretching for 62 miles from Hawaii's Kahului to Hanna, passing waterfalls and volcanic sand, lush green trees, and deep jungles. But don't get too distracted because this byway has about 10 sharp turns per mile, with 620 turns total. If you lose your focus, you could tumble off the side of the cliff if a surprise mudslide doesn't take you over first. When the turns of the 4,700 foot tall mountainsides get too sharp for even the road to handle, one of the 59 bridges extend along the way, connecting windy paths that were once divided by cliffs. If that isn't intimidating enough for you, you could always try Kahikili Highway, which some locals refer to as the Death Highway of Maui, with an even narrower pass in which drivers noted there wasn't even an inch to spare between the driver and the cliff's edge. This highway is a great way to brighten your day with a much needed jolt of panic. Plus, you could rest easy knowing it doesn't even have a pesky guardrail to ruin the fun. Luxor Al Hurghada Road, Egypt. Home to the majestic ruins of ancient Thebes, Luxor is one of the most popular tourist destinations in all of Egypt. But once you've glimpsed all the pyramids, statues, and hieroglyphs the old city has to offer, you'll probably want to bask in the beaches of Hergada on the Red Sea coast. While these two towns are desert oasis in the barren land surrounding the Nile, the 299 mile long highway connecting them is full of dark corners, sharp turns, and shady characters. While the danger of breaking down looms over any lengthy drive through the desert, the hot Sahara sun is the least of your worries. Thieves, extremists, and militiamen often lay out traps for unsuspecting travelers, and stories of roadside robberies, kidnappings, and unprovoked murders have been haunting Luxor Al Hurghada for ages. Driving at night can be particularly perilous since no lights line the streets. Plus, many motorists prefer to speed through the four and a half hour journey, gaining as little attention as possible, so they've been known to rush down the highway with their headlights off. While some commuters travel with night vision goggles, the less prepared drivers tend to get involved in accidents that not even the mummy could walk away from. Stelvio Pass, Italy Ambling your car through the highest road in the Eastern Alps could feel like stepping into the sound of music. But don't get lost in song. The minute you try a Julie Andrews twirl, you could find yourself spinning yourself into a 9,045 foot abyss. Originally built by the Austrian Empire and open to the public in 1825, this old roads captured tourists' imaginations, whether they were from Italy, Austria, or any other country for that matter. But that doesn't mean just anyone could take their manual transmission around this crooked, sidewinding path. Professional racer Sterling Moss couldn't handle this road during a competition in the 1990s. Even the stars of BBC's Top Gear were quick to call it the greatest road in Europe. And let's just say their ideal road isn't a straight and easy shot. Frequently the site of death-defying stunts and even more death-defying car wrecks, Stelvio Pass is like a natural roller coaster. The steep ride up the Prado and Bormio sides of the mountain range give way to twisting and turning inclines. And in case you're a passenger who regrets joining your daredevil friend for a joy ride down the mountain, you can rest easy knowing that the pass ends after that 60th hairpin turn. Kabul Jalalabad Highway, Afghanistan. The Kabul Jalalabad Highway is the perfect place for a James Bond car chase. It's too bad the heavy traffic would turn this location into a thrill-seeking spy's worst nightmare. Originally paved in the early 1960s, the freeway linking Afghanistan cities Kabul and Jalalabad fell into disrepair. With Soviet occupation in the 80s and the present war, the highway has only become more and more treacherous. Mainly in Taliban territory, this thoroughway reflects the wear and tear of the surrounding battlefields. Extending for 40 miles into deep ravines, the thin gravel road often finds driver's wheels hanging just over the edge of crevices. To make matters worse, trucks and buses often rage all over the road in an effort to make it to the next stop on time. It's not the safest place to rush through a morning commute. Without guardrails, a simple slip could send a car sliding down a 2,000 foot trench into the Kabul River. While horrifying, falling automobiles are such a common sight that locals have lost count. Luckily for them, the European Commission is working to finally rebuild this road, improving the daily lives of its drivers in the process. The Coast Roads, Croatia. Who doesn't want to go to Westeros, the land from Game of Thrones where spring can last years and winter can last a lifetime? Beyond the fact that no one wants the incredibly short life expectancy, George R.R. Martin's creation would be a breathtaking and beautiful place to witness in person. Too bad it doesn't exist. You can almost find the next best thing, however, by taking the Adriatic Highway through Croatia. Much of HBO's hit series is filmed in and around Croatia's medieval ramparts and seaside vistas. So kick back, relax, and enjoy the old streets, shops, and homes. But don't get distracted by these 
iconic relics from the Middle Ages, or you'll likely lose your head faster than a viewpoint character in George R. R. Martin's popular novels. Bus tours are offered for fans who would much rather put their lives in someone else's hands, but if you're willing to wheel your way around a road with more twists than a red wedding, you should opt to take the Adriatic Highway, and while you're at it, drive around those curves at a slower speed. With steep hills on one side and sharp drops into the deep blue Adriatic Sea on the other, it's easy for the landscape to help you conjure up your own fantasy. Los Caracoles Pass, Chile Paso de Los Caracoles looks less like a road and more like a level in Mario Kart. Translated to Snail's Pass, it's so named because the drivers need to inch their way along the sharp turns to avoid falling over the edge. Located on the border between Chile and Argentina, the road is usually used by huge tractor trailers transporting goods from one country to the other. Consisting of 29 total turns, a trip down this zigzagging slope reveals its dramatic past. In the space between turn number 10 and number 12, a lone canister lay there as the only remnant of a wrecked truck. The driver took the turn too fast and his trailer rolled down the staircase like slope. He only survived by jumping out of his driver's side door at the last second before the giant vehicle slinkied its way down the mountain. For all its notorious curves, number 17 is known as the Turn of the Dead, where the most fatal accidents have occurred. Just as soldiers bond on a battlefield, the truck drivers who frequent this passage share their own close connection. They're the only people brave enough to take this route every day. Thanks for joining us on this trip through crazy winding highways. Now that you've conquered your fear of these roads you wouldn't want to drive on, take the fast lane to more videos at the hub. We'll see you next time.